What to do YouTube back today in the fish room and in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about how the fish rooms are doing and a little bit about the future of my fish room. Alright so to start it off, we're gonna go ahead and get the bad news out of the way. So I've still been having troubles with this albino aquarium right here. I don't know if you guys watched my last video. If you guys didn't, go ahead and go watch that now. But anyways, I was talking about how I was losing fish from this aquarium because there was a boil order and I did a water change. So, so on, I'm still losing fish in this aquarium, sadly. And I actually lost some of my most favorite fish that I've had and it was my albino sunshine i'll go ahead and pop a picture up of him right now because i know i have one. Oh my god wow and then i also lost my other albino kobu male i still have this guy right here but i lost the other male which in my opinion was The albino sunshine females in here so i'm gonna go ahead, i'm gonna have to find another one of the males but it seems like this aquarium starting to turn around everybody's still looking good and there i don't think it was any diseases that is the reason why they died um i just think it was simply that boil order and it put some type of con contaminant in the water because i don't know i tested the water and everything turned out great but as you can also tell i've had a really bad snail outbreak and look at that isn't that just crazy like I literally have never really noticed snails in this aquarium but out of nowhere they've just multiplied multiplied and multiplied so now I have hundreds and hundreds of snails in this aquarium and it just seems like it happened overnight you can just see it all over here so what I'm thinking about doing on this with this aquarium in the future like you can see obviously the water is crystal clear all the water tested great a1 so no issues there i think i've got everything figured out now but i think with all the snails and all the stuff going on i think i'm gonna go ahead and take this aquarium down and restart it so i'm gonna go ahead and add everything from my 90 gallon aquarium into here and that's just what i'm thinking um the only sad part about this aquarium getting being taken down is that centerpiece of driftwood because I don't really know if I'm gonna put it back in here with the Africans because it obviously lowers the pH of the water. Africans like higher pH, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and add all these fish into the 65 gallon aquarium right here, just because I don't have that many fish in here and I could use the space, it's a lot more space and will fit the, uh, the Africans a lot better in my opinion. So the biggest fish in here are these angel fish, as you can tell. And then I have some uh, Romy Nose Tetras in here, a Julie Ducromis, some Cory Catfish, uh, Khalil Loach down over there, you can kind of see them right there. But yeah, I buy them on uh, Swordtails. But anyways, I'm gonna add all the fish from this aquarium into the here right, into this one right here. And I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with these albinos. I'll probably end up putting them into this 90 gallon aquarium. So stay tuned for that video. This tank's gonna get a makeover and so is this aquarium right here. And so is this 40 gallon eventually too. So I got a lot of stuff to do in the fish room as you guys can tell. But yeah guys, anyways, I've had a lot of bad luck in the fish room lately which sucks but as you guys know, I also lost pretty much everything in this tank due to a heater malfunction. It got stuck on and fried all the fish. So that's also a huge bummer. So yeah, it's just, it's been devastating in the fish room, but you know, can't let that stuff knock you down and give up on everything, so. But anyways, for the future updates, I also got a little dual 10 gallon stand right here. And look how perfect that just fit in this little area that I had, edge to edge, so be able to stack some 10 gallons right here and before you know it i'm gonna be putting this uh ob fryer ride from this tank down here Let's see if i can get them on the camera but yeah that guy that big guy right there in the back 
I've been quarantining him because he has some type of ulcer on his tail, which I don't see it. But then again, it kind of looks like he might have something else going on. So I want to be able to get him out of here and onto that stand so I can observe him a little bit better. Because, I mean, he looks like he's doing good, but I just want to make sure 100% before I add him back into this 125 gallon with the rest of these fish. Because I would hate to lose any more fish. I'm already super butthurt about all the other fish that I've lost and just taking a lot of losses lately in the fish room. But I also got these guys right here. These guys are ready for upgrade here soon. They're getting a good size. Um, this tank's looking really good. And, but anyways, I'm gonna upgrade them guys probably down here. And you can see all this mess I gotta get cleaned up as well. But anyways, once that tank's out of there, onto the stacked uh, 10 gallon stand right here, I can move that 40 gallon up there down to below this tank right here. So that would be a huge plus. I think it'll work out better than that tank way up here, even though that I really like that tank up there and the look of it. But yeah, you guys gotta see the vision because eventually I'll have 10 gallons up here in place of this 40 gallon breeder. As you can see, I added one little extra piece right there on the end. So I can fit four 10 gallons up at the top and one in the back as well. They do end up hanging off just a tad bit, but not too bad nothing to be too concerned about but yeah i'm excited for that this is going to be the grow out for them uh lapidu gromus blue otters or at least i think they could be hybrids so i guess we won't know until they get a little bit bigger so i'm gonna have to grow them guys out before i find out what i'm gonna do with them so yeah the bod's are looking great so this tank's doing really well not sure what, I, what the uh, future of this tank is but just letting these guys grow out and then turn into a breeding group for me so super dope oh yeah this tank down here this iceberg fry rye i don't know where he's at right now but oh there he is peeking his head out i'm looking to get some females for that guy so if you guys know where i get some high quality females from that'd be great comment down below if any suggestions and i'll need to get i don't know four to six of them guys and i'll probably put them in here with this guy and let them do their thing but there's also an insignis in here. As you can see, he's probably looking for him right now. I need to get that guy out of here into a forever tank. So this guy isn't picking on him anymore. <clears throat> I just haven't added, taken him out of this tank. He's already through quarantine. But I'm just nervous to add him into any other tank and have him getting beat up or killed. Because as I was just talking, guys, I've lost a lot of fish recently. And a lot of really nice fish. So I'm not trying to take any more losses right now um yeah but anyways there's still a lot of good things to go on in the fish room i know i've kind of been slacking on posting lately but i've been traveling a lot and then also a lot of things been going on in the fish room that's just kind of killing the motivation but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and snap out of that and get back to how i used to be and getting everything back rolling so got a lot to do in here and i'm gonna keep you guys up to date on youtube as always so if you guys like this content and want to see more of this content even though today was kind of a boring slow sad video um hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so you get updated every time i post a new video and keep up to date on my aquarium or my fish room <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in another video i'm out